and uh, welcome to the 16th annual Bullet Lecture in Astronomy. My name is Larry Bulliger, I'm an Associate Professor of Astronomy. I've organized uh, the last several of these. And we have a special treat tonight because we have a special treat in the sky next August 21st. It's the uh, Great American Eclipse, the first coast to coast eclipse in 99 years, crossing the continental United States from the Pacific Coast to the Atlantic Coast. And uh, the maximum totality, uh, which is not quite the same as the maximum duration, but basically the biggest eclipse, the deepest eclipse, is going to be here in the state of Kentucky, so we have a front row seat. And so, because this is a great educational experience, in addition to a sky show, I would invite you to spread the word to tell your friends, because we are the uh, we're the frontline troops for telling people to uh, to look at this and learn and enjoy, because these are very rare. The last uh, eclipse, total eclipse, eclipse of the sun in the continental U.S. was in 1979. The next two are in 2024 and 2044. So if you don't make it on August 21st, 2017, you're going to have to wait potentially a long, long time. Now this lecture is uh, the result of a, a donation by the William Marshall Bullitt uh, Fund. And uh, William Marshall Bullitt was the Solicitor General of the United States and President Taft. He was uh, from, from here in Louisville, and he was a lawyer, but he also loved mathematics and astronomy, hence the, uh, the quest in his memory for this uh, set of astronomy lectures. So this is actually a first. This is the first time we've had somebody come back to give another bullet lecture. Fred Espenak was our second bullet lecturer. And we'll get on to more about that. But first, there's another uh, part to this uh, donation and that is to uh, help astronomy education here at the University of Louisville. So we have two scholars here, uh, Nick Wong and Brian Leist, who are going to receive awards. I'd like to ask Mr. Lowry Watkins, Jr. to come here and present them with their, uh, with their certificates. Bullet Scholar this year is a uh, Bullet Scholar is an undergraduate who shows promise in uh, astronomy and physics, a major in the Department of Physics and Astronomy, and astronomy concentration, is uh, Nick Wong. Nick spent last summer at the SETI Institute, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute. He was not searching for extraterrestrial intelligence, but he was looking at asteroids because things in our own solar system actually could have carried organic material here to Earth and started light. So to understand how light works, you have to understand asteroids. And uh, so he did uh, what's called a research experience for undergraduates. We have uh, our top few people do that. And he's sailing through. He's going to graduate in 2017 in the spring and uh, go on to great things. He's applied for a Fulbright scholarship to Australia. So cross your fingers that he can join our, the ranks of our Fulbright scholars. He's doing it. You have to uh, do a lot of computer sifting and computer programming to uh, tease out the, uh, the trends in very large databases looking at uh, many galaxies to try to learn how they evolved and uh, basically where they came from and where we came from. And uh, we both look for Nick and Brian to go on to great things in astronomy. I've been here, astronomy has definitely grown and developed. So 
I would like to uh, thank you, the members of the public and the university community, for your support of astronomy, and also uh, a few people who have come to be our guests. That's uh, Steve Nipper and son Zachary, who come from Lexington, from the Lieutenant Governor's Office. Uh, Mark Watkins, who is the Associate Vice President for Business Services for Harlan Sands. I'd like to thank uh, the representative of Jackie Ford, the Girl Scout Executive. And I'm sorry, I forgot your name, but we, uh, we had a very nice chat at the media and educators event. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We want to uh, have all youth, that's Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, students in school, undergraduates, the general public, to be able to learn about this because nature gives us lessons and this is a great way to learn. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, William Clark, who's here for Senator Connell's office. And also Dean Kimberly Leonard, Dean of Arts and Sciences, who supports our department very much. Thank you very much for coming. And Provost Dale Billingsley, who's also here uh, supporting us uh, at the university level. So our speaker tonight is Fred Espinac, also known as NASA's Mr. Eclipse. Now, he no longer works for NASA. He's retired. He's happily retired. And he's relaxing and not working nearly as hard as he used to except that he's traveling all over the country and he's really hard to get to because everybody wants to listen to him. He has made a professional study of solar system objects and planetary atmospheres. He did his bachelor's degree at Wagner College in Staten Island, and then did his master's degree at the University of Toledo, and then went to NASA, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, where several of us have been. Uh, Jeremy Hornbeck, one of our graduate students, has spent time there. Uh, Jim LaRoche, who is one of our faculty members, is also he was a postdoc there. Uh, I spent five years working in a cubic hole at NASA, <laughs> the NASA way, and uh, lived to tell the tale. Actually, it's a great place for people to keep sending students there. So after a long career at NASA, where he was working on planetary atmospheres and uh, solar system astronomy, he also worked on eclipses and has observed dozens of eclipses. He uh, has uh, worked on understanding their, their frequency and how to observe them, and he's done an enormous amount of public outreach, which in science, which depends on public funding, is really, really important. <coughs> so he, uh, he wasn't officially charged with eclipses, but he made it his thing, and uh, he's going around the country now to tell us about the great 2017 eclipse. So I present to you Fred Espinach, NASA's Mr. Eclipse. <laughs> Sweep across the Earth. There's the the larger uh, penumbral shadow, 